Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I'm gonna to be doing some eye swatches on some new eyeshadows that I picked up from L'Oreal. These have been out for a little bit, but they are newer to the L'Oreal line. These are the Infallible Paints Metallic Eyeshadows, and they have a total of five shades. I'm going to swatch all five shades on my eyes for you guys today, just so you can see how they perform in action. I've had these for quite a while. I've been wanting to do this video for a bit, but I'm just now getting around to it. So. There are five shades, not too many to swatch in my eyes for you guys. I am wearing one of the shadows on my lids today. I think it's very pretty. So I got mine at Walmart. You can also find these at Ulta and other drugstores. And at Ulta, they retail for $8.99. I got mine at Walmart. I think they were around $6.99 or maybe even $5.99 at Walmart. Walmart is generally like $2 cheaper. When I first saw these, I immediately thought they looked exactly like some shadows that I have from Prestige Cosmetics. The design, the packaging, it's very, very similar. So let me just show you two colors that look very, very similar. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic Eyeshadow, and this is the Pres Prestige Total Intensity True Metals Eyeshadow. So not only does the packaging look very similar, I mean the L'Oreal one is more transparent, but it's like the same kind of acrylic square packaging and this color just looks identical. I haven't swatched them side by side, but I'm gonna do that for you guys in this video. So these just reminded me of each other. I mean, look at the honeycomb print on them. It's exactly the same. So it's probably the same manufacturer that made these. So I'm looking at the total intensity ones on the Prestige website. These actually retail for more. They're $9.75 for these. And let me see the weight difference. So in the Prestige one, you get 2.8 grams. And in the L'Oreal one, you get 2.8 grams. So the Prestige ones are more expensive. They also have five shades. Not all of the shades are the same as the L'Oreal ones. Some of them look a little bit similar and then the rest of them are different. I have four of the five from Prestige. So let's just go ahead and jump into the eye swatches for the L'Oreal Infallible Paint Metallic Shadows. So we're gonna start with this one. It's called Rose Chrome. I don't have any primer on. I do have like concealer on my lids though. And I'm just gonna swipe this. Uh oh. I know I saw um, Tati from Glam Life Guru. <sighs> Can't even talk. She talked about this shadow once in like a video and she said that it was a nice highlight shade. So it's pretty, but I don't think it's like super metallic. I'm gonna try it with my finger. So it's okay. I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, amazing. Put a little bit more on and I'm gonna put it on wet this time. I don't really think it did too much but applying it wet with my finger. So there's a swatch of it right there. It is pretty, it's just not like, I prefer a really intense metallic shadow. Don't get me wrong though, I will still wear it, but it's not as intense as I was hoping it would be. So this one is called Aluminum Foil. And I can already tell this one's gonna be pretty metallic. I feel like silvers seem easy to do. I feel like silvers always come out super intense. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Pretty crazy. I don't think I would wear this one alone on the lid. I mean, obviously, like, I'd put some colors in the crease and stuff, but I think I would like this one, like, in the center of a look. Maybe, like, a cool tone look. Just pop this right in the center of the lid. But that's what it looks like dry. I'm not going to even bother applying that one wet because I think it's already, like, intense enough on its own. Give you a little swatch of this one. That's one swipe right there. All right, so after wiping off my eye makeup, this whole section of my foundation came off in my concealer, so let's just not mind that at all. So this one is called Violet Luster. Over here. You 
You guys know purples are my favorite color. So these go on nice, but I feel like they do, some of them need to be built up a little bit. And I wouldn't say they're metallic. I don't even feel like these are metallic. There's so many metallic eyeshadows on the market now that to me, this is not metallic. This is a shimmer shadow, but not really metallic. So there is Violet Luster right there. So it is a pretty purple. I think it's pretty. It definitely would wear it, but I wouldn't say it's like metallic. I'm going to put a little bit on my lid with my finger and apply it wet. Made it a little bit more pigmented, but still not metallic in my opinion. So this one is called Caged. This one looks like a beautiful taupey shade. So this one's kind of almost like a gunmetal taupe. If you like smoky eyes, this would be good for smoky eyes. I don't even think I want to apply this one wet. It's very pigmented, don't get me wrong. And they look so reflective with the all the lights in front of me. Like it makes them look more metallic with all these lights, but you can see like on the lid it does not look metallic at all. Okay, this last one is called Brass Knuckles. Looks like a beautiful bronzy shade. All right, so out of all of the shades, I feel like this one actually is metallic compared to the rest. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Just has more shine to it than the others. So it's right there on my knuckles and it's funny because it's called brass knuckles, but you can see it's more reflective than the others and it's more metallic. That one was the smoothest. They are all really pretty, but definitely don't think the others are really metallic as they say, as the name suggests. I mean, I guess the silver one is, it could have a little bit more shine to it, but I, I would say that one's pretty metallic. But as far as like the peachy one, the purple, and the taupey one, I don't know. Those are not very metallic in my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup and I will be back. Okay, so those were all the eye swatches for you guys. And like I mentioned before, I feel like the two most metallic ones were brass knuckles and aluminum foil, the bronzy and silver one. Those ones were metallic. As far as the other three go, I just felt like they weren't like a true metallic shadow. I am wearing rose chrome on my lids today with some matte shadows and I think it's very pretty. I would definitely continue to wear these, but if you're going to purchase these with the mindset that these are gonna be super metallic, these three colors here, like the peachy, the purple, and the taupe, they really aren't like a super metallic formula. They do have a nice shine to them, but I would say they're more of like a shimmer shadow than like a true metallic shadow, just because I own so many metallic eyeshadows and I feel like these just don't have the intensity and shimmer that I would call a metallic. So I do think they're still pretty. Like I really like the way this look turned out. So I'm wearing the Rose Chrome, the peachy shade with this ColourPop palette, the Element of Surprise. I am wearing, Ooh, what am I wearing? I'm wearing this color right here, as well as this color on the outer portion, along with this one over here. This one I had in the crease first. So I put that in the crease, this one in the outer corner, and then that one to deepen it up a little bit more. And then for eyeliner, I use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liquid Eyeliner. I love this. It's an old favorite. I pulled it out and I've been enjoying it a lot. But that's what I have on the rest of my eyes today.
So let's do some swatch comparisons with the L'Oreal and the Prestige. Like these two are pretty much identical. So this is the aluminum foil versus the Sterling from Prestige Cosmetics. I mean, it's exactly the same looking. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Oh, I guess I should. Okay, so this pointer finger here is the Prestige. So the top one's Prestige, the bottom one's L'Oreal. I almost felt like the Prestige one was a little bit softer to be honest with you. So you can see they're like dead on dupes, dead on dupes. So if you already have that one, you definitely don't need to purchase the L'Oreal one. Okay, another two that look very, very similar are the Topi shades. So I have the Caged from L'Oreal and this one is called Pewter from Prestige. These look exactly the same, exactly the same. Oh, on my fingers, so let's see how they look swatched. So this one's Prestige, this one's L'Oreal. I would say they look pretty gosh darn similar, if not exactly the same. I almost feel like my eyes might be playing tricks on me and one might look a little, like a hair darker than the other, but for the most part, I think they look like exact dupes as far as like the finish and everything. So those look exactly the same. And then I have one more set here that looks similar. So this is Brass Knuckles and Bronze over here. This is the bronze shade from Prestige. Actually, I think these might be a little bit different. Yeah, I think um, the Prestige one is a little bit darker. Definitely a little darker. Yeah, these two are not exact dupes. So this is the L'Oreal Brass Knuckles. This is Bronze from Prestige Cosmetics. So those two are definitely not exact dupes. So I'm kind of happy about that because I definitely don't need both. You know what I mean? Like with the other sets, I don't need both of those. It's crazy. I'm going to show you the last shade here that I have from the Total Intensity Shadows. This is in copper. So this one is different than the L'Oreal ones because L'Oreal doesn't have one in a copper shade. But this is really pretty. Very pigmented. All right, guys, so that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.